What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about something that has been the case in my team since NBA 2K15. It's been a case in my team since the very start, but it's one of those videos that you all, I always have to make every single year, because there are a, there are a massive amount of, for lack of a better word, overall snobs out there. People that just look at an overall of a card and let that determine whether they think a card is better or not. So, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section are genuinely going to be like, we all know this, we've known this for years. The reason why I'm making this video is that people still don't. We are in 2021. I've been, I've been going on about this since 2017. It's been four years. This whole concept that overall means nothing is the only reason my channel got any traction in the first place. So if, uh, whoever made the very first intangibles tread on Reddit, that made me look a lot more into overall and how everything was calculated, thank you, because if it wasn't for you, if it was not for that Reddit tread, I would not be here right now. So, um, whoever created that Reddit tread, you created a monster. But anyway, yeah, before we get on to, um, my explanation and why overall obviously means nothing. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 225,000 subscribers by the end of the week. Right now, we are about 600-ish away, and it would be absolutely insane if we could hit that by Sunday. That means we are halfway between 250K, or between 200 and 250K, and we are in like 25,000 subscribers. It might sound crazy, but it means we are still on track to get quarter of a million subscribers by 2K22. That is, that's the whole goal. Quarter of a million by 2K22. But anyway, let's have a look at 2KDB. And let's compare Luka Doncic 94 with Luka Doncic 95. So, there are a few things. First of all, 95 Luka Doncic has got 30 goals and 8 Hall of Fames. 32 goals, 9 Hall of Fames. Autumn already better. Hot Zone's the exact same. So badges wise, the diamond's better, but that, like, that makes sense. Like, obviously, badges go get good over time, but there are a few things here. Look at this shot IQ. Do you know what shot IQ does in game? Zilch. It does nothing in game. It does absolutely nothing in game. The only thing that this Luka Doncic does better. And they both have the same intangibles. Look at this. The only thing he does better is a plus 28 shot IQ. A plus 28 shot IQ. That is how much, pre uh, how important the shot IQ stat is for overall. You can give somebody minus 30 interior defense. All these minus stats on defense. You can lower all these stats. You can make them slower. You can make them um, worse at passing. You can make them a worse rebounder. Like he's literally better at everything. But because of this one shot IQ stat, it's not even intangibles. Because a lot of people are saying, oh, it's always the intangibles. It's not. Intangibles is a huge factor, by the way. So, st certain stats, intangibles and shot IQ. These are stats that do not do anything in game. They literally don't do anything. So if you see a 25 intangible card, you know that that card should be better than he is. Or if you see a 25 shot IQ card, they should be a lot better than they are. 2K are, like, are switching things up. So it used to just be that they would always lower intangibles. And then last year, there were so many beastly cards, they had to lower shot IQ as well. And now this year, they're kind of switching it up. Sometimes they're lowering um, intangibles, sometimes they're lowering shot IQ. But as you guys know, this Luka Doncic here has got 200 more total stats than this one. And let me have, um, let me have a look at certain cards. So Kawhi Leonard, 25 shot IQ, 25 intangibles. So this, they're doing whatever they can to make this card 999 overall. Does he have any other low stats? 47 post hook. Like, you see a lot of stats like this. Obviously, rebounding is low. But you'll see a lot of weird stats like that, and they'll make a huge difference. So, this has not. This has only happened with Luka Doncic as well. So, I don't think that this is the case with Luka, but you are going to see this happen a lot more throughout the year. So, if you're looking at this Luka here, um, his passing accuracy and stuff is, are all high, which are really important for a point guard. So, sometimes you will see it, and where 2K will change the position of a card just to keep him down low overall. We gotta go back to 2K20 to really see when this was super prevalent. 
And in NBA 2K20, this was super prevalent with this guy right here, Paul George. So Paul George could do everything, but 2K made him a power forward primary and gave him a block rating or gave him a 60 post hook and a block rating of 50. Because these stats mattered so much for big men, it allowed him to be a lower overall. And this was pre um, them lowering shot IQ, by the way. They lowered shot IQ later on the year. Obviously, they gave him low intangibles. But they gave him a terrible block rating and terrible post hook. Nobody could understand because he had better stats than most Opals last year. Nobody could understand why. But then everyone realized they made him a power forward and made him bad in the post. So you're going to see a lot of things like that happen. And it's not going to be specifically for Luca. Because Luca, obviously, primary point guy, primary two guy. I don't think that makes too much of a difference. But there are going to be certain stats where... For example, they might make a guy a god tier point guard, but give them passing IQ of like 70, which is going to lower their overall, even though passing IQ doesn't make that much of a difference. On a two guard, shot IQ means way more. Because I think on those positions, having a um, higher shot IQ makes a big, big difference for your overall. So you're going to see little things like that throughout the year. And I think that that's... Again, it is just showing the way 2K, what 2K are doing just to manipulate overalls. Like, is it a problem 2K are doing this? Absolutely not. Like, if you guys are um, thinking I'm coming on here saying that it's like it's this big secret that 2K are doing it, like, it was apparently no one was meant to have found out about it, but we all found out about it in 2017. We all found out about it back then. So, we all, like, we all know enough about this game. And by we, I mean the people that take this game seriously. Um, myself, a lot of others, I've been looking through these stats for years that we know enough about it. So there's even a true ratings where you can see like the actual true overall um, at different positions of players. I'm not sure exactly what true ratings does. There's a lot of weird things in true ratings. I remember I think it was last year. Was it? It, say, it would say some really good cards are bad, which is why I don't take this into account too much. But it's something. Apparently, there is some valid validity to true ratings. I just don't really see it for the way I play the game anyway. But um. And there are just so, so many things. So what does that mean about cards? Honestly, do not ever buy a card because you see our overall rating. So for example, like I'm guessing um, Luca is more expensive than the other Luca. Like surely it is like 135k. Let's see what draft Luca. Surely he's under 100k. So yeah, like obviously this Luca is going to be cheaper than point guard Luca. But... I reckon even if you make the other Luca a two guard, I reckon even if you make him a two guard, that he still probably stays, he might stay at 94 overall because of what they've done to shot IQ. They've lowered his shot IQ. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like the case of a Luca Doncic 95 being significantly worse than the same card of it being of it on 94, it just kind of shows again that the overall really, really does not matter. Because a lot of the times you can talk about specific players and say like, oh, um, Westbrook is just objectively better than Curry, but Curry's higher overall. And saying things like that. But this is the one scenario that proves it straight up. Because there are no, there is no scenario where a 2,900... Like this Luka Doncic isn't saying stats-wise, I'm just saying. Like 2,934 stats-wise with better badges. This Luka Doncic, 2,747. Like 200 difference in total stats. It, that is massive. That is massive. But solely because of shot IQ and possibly because of primary position, because Luca's incredible passing maybe doesn't bode well for his. And um, maybe, I don't know. I actually don't know. I, I reckon it is just shot IQ. There, is definitely situ there are definitely situations where you can look deeper. Again, going back to 2K20, if you want to look at this guy right here, Pierce. They did a lot in 20 around February last year. They gave a bunch of power forward. They gave a bunch of small forwards primary power forward. They did it to Kawhi Leonard. They did it to Paul Pierce. They did it to Gerald Wallace. And what they did was, again, they gave him a 50 block rating. So they would give a guy that's clearly not a power forward um, one really, really bad stat for a power forward, and it'll just lower their overall. Like this Paul Pierce, 2917 last year, um, 23 halves. He was ridiculous. He was absolutely ridiculous, but 2K just wanted to keep his overall low, so they uh, made him a power forward. Because like, I think when he was a small forward, he was a 98 overall or something. It was something really weird like that. We tested that last year. But I reckon that is coming later on in the year. So, what 
so in conclusion, if you see a card with a weird position and they've got stats that look too good to be true, jump on that card. If you see a, a guy that's probably a two guard playing with a primary power forward, you and you look at his stats and you see that he's a 50 block, that card is in all likelihood going to be a demon. We're going to see that later on in the year. If you see a guy that's clearly a point guard, um, have a primary two guard, secondary point guard, there's and then have like a really low shot IQ, you know he's going to be a demon. So look more in depth. You got to look at stats. You got to use sites like 2KDB because I think they give you more in depth stats on every player. I think you should use that. It takes 30 seconds before you buy any player to use that website. And if not, like just just look through the stats and badges of a card. Like, just make sure you look through them. That's the bare minimum you should be doing before you buy a card. Because, like, if you are a Luka fan, you want to play Luka at the 2. And you've just um, bought or bought this game today. You boot up the console. You might say, you know what? I really want Luka, but I want to use the highest overall Luka. And that highest overall Luka is not the best Luka. And it's not even close to being the best Luka in this game. And I think situations like that are going to happen throughout the year. Like, I do reckon that there might be another, say, Pink Diamond Paul Pierce that's a 95 overall but he might be a primary power forward. And they might make him like last year. They might make give Paul Pierce this card again. Like if they give Paul Pierce this exact card, he's a 95 overall. So he'd be one lower than the 96 overall pink time that we have. But yet he's going to be faster, a better shooter, have range extender, albeit like a bad block rating, but he's going to have probably pretty much everything better. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. Overall means nothing. Always, always be aware of that. And if you are an overall snob, Picking a team based on overall. If that's how you have fun with the game, be my guest. If you are spending a whole bunch of money and are one of those people that need to have the highest overall players while complaining about momentum and scripting, your players just mightn't be that good. Or you might be that, or you mightn't be that good. Bit of both. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.